Mayor Tom Barrett calls it a historic investment, but some say it would barely put a dent in the cost to remove all of Milwaukee's lead pipes. Ben Jordan is live in the newsroom to break down that proposal and how the money would be spent. Katie and Tom Barrett says about 8 million would go toward removing lead paint from homes. The other 12 million would pay for the removal of a thousand lead service lines or pipes. That's just a mere fraction of those that remain. It's a problem tens of thousands of Milwaukee homeowners live with. Ulacier LaFleur admits lead wasn't a fear of hers until her daughter Skylar was born. Bathing and cooking and, you know, for her bottle and everything. So, you know, it really concerns me that we do have lead in our water. LaFleur's neighbor Jasmine Hoover doesn't risk it. I'm not drinking it straight from the tap. Especially after her family got a letter to remind them last week. What went through your mind when you read through that letter? You don't really think about it, but then when you get a notice saying it, hey, you might have lead pipes and everybody in the neighborhood has lead pipes. Over the past year, lead has been a subject of scandal in Milwaukee after failures surrounding notification and testing of children, ultimately leading to the ousting of the former health commissioner Bevan Baker. We'll be focusing on removing about a thousand different pipes that have lead in them. Mayor Tom Barrett says the city stopped using lead on lateral lines in the 50s. Laterals connect city water mains to homeowners water pipes. But the challenge we have is not every house built before 1951 can be addressed in one year. That's because around 75,000 lead service lines remain. The city found it would cost a staggering $750 million to replace all of them. We don't pretend to say that this is going to solve the problem. Barrett's 2019 budget would provide another partial solution, water filters for homeowners. Altogether, this proposal would require a tax hike about 50 bucks a year for the average homeowner. Katie.